everybody. Lisa again. Have one happy place creations. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're getting to do some crafting or at least getting some inspiration from these YouTubes. I know I do. Uh, this is a project. Let me take this off. This is a project that I did uh, using um, well let me show it first. It's uh, just a little book. It's got your uh, clip there. Um, just two pieces of 12 by 12 on this. Let's see, the measurements for this book are seven and a half by roughly five and one, two, three eighths. Um, the inside is uh, uh, made out of cards and envelopes. Now these are Michaels. I lost the insert that goes in them, but they're just Michaels, the five and a half by seven. Um, I think they're A4 cards. But, uh, they're, uh, you know, obviously the craft. And then I use the Follow Your Heart by My Mind's Eye um, 6x6 paper pad. Uh, and of course I used uh, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive and you know whatever your favorite tape runner is whether you've got one of these or one like this this is my um, removable stuff but uh, so you know whatever whatever works for you and um, this was pretty quick put together uh, the outside covers are you know they're all chipboard and oops they measure five and a quarter by seven and a half. Then the spine is one, two, one and five eighths by seven and a half. This is the same as the front. Then this spine is going to be an eighth of an inch longer. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is one and five eighths, and this is one and five eighths. Okay, so the um, whatever works for you. Uh, oh, I know what I did. The one and five eighths here, one and five eighths here, and I left a little bit more room between uh, this spine and the two pieces I attached. Than I did on this side. This side I left just about uh, an eighth of an inch and this side was um, a little bit more just so I could make sure that I could get the book closed. But normally you make the spine about an eighth of an inch uh, longer than this spine so that uh, it will hold this piece when you flip this over. And then this piece, again it's, it's totally uh, your choice. Um, this is two and three quarters by seven and a half. Um, I wanted to get this pattern on here, so that's why I chose this. You could totally bring it all the way to the end. You could, you know, just wherever you want. You could even flip it over this amount. Um, okay, so, and I've got magnets on the inside here, and then I've got discs. And let's see, where are my discs? I can show you how cool. These are Grip Right Fasteners. I got them at uh, Home Depot. I'm sure you could get them at Lowe's. And I believe they're called Tin Cap Discs. I don't know if you could see that. Tin Cap Discs. And... They are absolutely very, very thin, and you can cut them with a pair of scissors. Of course, don't use good scissors. And uh, the magnets, oh, love them, love, 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 good, 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 good hold. So, um, and they're very, ni they're nice and flat, so that you can get. Uh, you know, just the paper goes over them pretty smoothly. 
Um, normally I would have put them on the chipboard, but I forgot to, so I had to make these little flowers, and I decorated the flowers and put the stamps on there. Probably not the most ideal, but that's what I ended up doing. Uh, this is actually the cover, the rest of this. Uh, I don't waste anything. So this is the um, little pocket here. Now it is just glued right around here so it's a fairly tight pocket but um, you can get a tag in there. I have made this for a um, uh, raffle that we're doing at work. Um, so it's all donations and stuff. Um, these are the envelopes right here. And what you do is, let me grab one of these envelopes out real quick. Sorry about the noise. So what you do is you um, lick your flap or wet it somehow. I, I know that awful taste. And then I put a little bit of glue along the edges here and I seal it up. Then I cut an eighth of an inch off this side and an eighth of an inch off this side. You can cut more if you want to make this a different uh, size here, but that's all I did is just enough to actually make it so it was open all the way through. So you wanted to be able to slide your hand all the way through it. Um, because one side goes on, I'm using Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge. And if I knew how to put the link below I, or in the description, everybody says below, but the description is always on the side <laughs> on the videos. So I'll put the, if I knew how to, um, I'm working on that. I'm trying to get better. And these, um, albeit sometimes the color is not perfect, but I got these at Michael's. And sorry if there's a glare. Um, they're textured cards and envelopes, and there's so many different. These are all solids, and these are all patterns. And um, the patterns are on uh, just one side on these. Some of them uh, in the past have had patterns on both sides. but And then I have all these envelopes, and these, of course, are A2 cards. But um, how quick and easy is that to make you know, quote-unquote tags for your cards, you could come in here and mat this and make it uh, even more. Um, the the ra raffle gifts are all supposed to be under $10, and I'm pretty close to 10 bucks now, so with um, my pads and stuff. And I just did some random stamping uh, of things that I went. Couldn't really afford to do a whole lot of bling, um, but I'm going to show you what I did on that where I'm kind of cheating. So, you know, all the cards sitting there. You've got a tag in here. This is the 8.5, I mean, uh, the 6x6 six six pad uh, with one inch strip cut off of every one of them. So I went through with the 6x6, six six, cut off one inch, and then that's what I'm making all my little pockets with. And that's what these are made with. Um, I just cut them out with uh, one of my spell binders. Uh, the the rectangle scalloped rectangle uh, spell binders and just just did that just kind of to decorate because I did not have enough paper um, to do anything on else on these now the card has got a front and a back and just to make it a little different I just did the tabs that way um, but the tabs oops the tabs are all the same length I did have to cut off about a quarter of an inch on the card so when it fits in here it it's only going to go down to where the hidden hinge system is um, utilized so um, but nice lots of pictures going to fit in this thing it's going to be more like a brag book or um, if you go on a trip or just have some special story again this is another one of those see now they do have a nice color coordinating color um, and, and the rest of the book is all made the same. So I'm not going to um, bore you with seeing all the same pictures. But that's the... Uh, and then this is the other part that came off of this. I made another little pocket. So there's... Uh, these tags are for something else that I'm doing. But just so you can see that a tag can fit down in there. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to show you... What the video is really all about is um, 
right here I have my uh, where my two pieces of paper came together and I kind of want to hide that I had a really hard time picking some ribbon and I'm not extremely sold on it but I like it it's okay but um, what I'm gonna do is I think my glue gun oh new glue gun from my friend Laurel for my birthday and uh, quite excited about it um, so this is I've actually not even used it yet I just plugged it in um, so this is the maiden voyage <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is let me just make sure I've got this yeah is um, I'm not going to glue gun it on this side because it's going to have to get kind of wrinkled up. But I'm just going to lay that there and I'm going to close my book. And I'm going to pull it up around here. And I'm going to make sure that it's against... I might tack it down later. But now I'm going to run glue up here. Now when you're doing ribbon, don't use... Or I suggest not using glue uh, the the tape runners and stuff are okay but I'm not all that wild about how they hold either so um, I'm just gonna run a uh, gotta get the feel for this thing just gonna run a bit of glue and I only do a little bit at a time and I'm gonna pull that I want to line it up with the edge of the book I don't want it hanging off the edge of the book and then I'm just going to rub it, pull that back a little bit. I'm just going to rub it on there. Um, the one thing is with the with the glue gun, it doesn't discolor the color of the ribbon. When you use this stuff, it discolors. When you use your tape runners, it can come off. Um, the hot glue gun is not going to do that. It's not going to have it come off. I'm just going to kind of get myself a a little spread out of this glue and I'm gonna lay it down where I want it and flatten it out there we go pull it back Oop, a little much there if you get a lot it's probably gonna get warm on you but just spread it out Let's see I got a little much and some of it kinda came through but there you go okay so we're just going to continue this I hope you can see this I, I've got my new camera that I got for my birthday too so um, this is I've I have done a couple of videos but this is probably going to be the first one that I'm actually going to um, put on YouTube just you know been playing around with it and I think I've got a good setup um, for it now that uh, I can work comfortably and you can still see the whole project because before I was having a problem trying to get all of the project in at one time and I couldn't see what you could see and now I can so I'm quite excited about that just uh, makes for a better video push it down there we go get a little bit coming seeping through but it rubs right off Okay, now before I do that, let me see. Um, now, another thing I wanted to show you, I'm going to set this aside for a second. I go to um, garage sales. Okay, so those of you, I know in Europe, I think they call them car boots. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I pick up at garage sales and what I might use them for. Um... Oh my gosh, there's just tons. Little dogs, uh, butterflies, and basically you can dismantle these. You can put these all over a page. You can clip off those little clips just with a pair of, of uh, what do they call those, snips or something. Um, a, a cute little Snoopy. That's, uh, and I've got, a, I've got them kind of separated out, but I mean, look at this. This was a necklace. Look at all these cute little flowers. Those can be taken apart and used as flower centers. Let's see if you can get a close-up of those. How cute are they? Beautiful bling in the center. Um, 
some of these things were purchased, but uh, um, let's see. Uh, this was a necklace, and it's got a cute little bird in there. I'm trying to get it where you can see the little bird. Oh, turn it right side. There's the little bird in there. Um, that was a necklace. This is a brooch. Now, how beautiful is that going to be in the middle of a flower? I'll have to show you um, how I make my t-shirt flowers, and I put these kind of things in that. And look at these cute little things for Halloween. A little girl and a little boy. And these were just pins. And all you do is get this in the camera there. All you do is clip these off. They're not that hard to clip off. I mean, heaven only knows we all have had pins that have broken. Um, little hearts. Uh, pins that are trees. And how cute is that going to be on, on a um, vintage Christmas book or something? Okay, so... Um, yeah, just just all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to bore you with everything, but, you know, that gives you an idea. Um, so I'm actually utilizing a few of these today. This was a pin, um, and I took my snips, whatever you call these things, and I cut off what I could reach of that, and then I'm going to kind of bend this up and try and get that as much as I can. And see if I can grab this and pull some more off. There. See, I just pulled the whole thing off. And it, it didn't take much pressure at all. All this can just get tossed. Not very much that I waste, but... Um, so, this is... How cute is that? And it's just... That just popped right off there very easily. Then I have this that I found. This was a um, bracelet, or I mean a necklace, um, hung off a necklace. It's got a little, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the camera. It got a little hole there. And, oh, I thought I had one other thing. Where it, Oh, here it is. This uh, was an earring. And I straightened the wire out a little bit. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to use the wire, but these are just little little balls on chain. So I'm going to actually put all of these on my book. And I probably spent pennies on these, so I'm keeping my book down to my $10 limit. Okay, so um, I'm going to put my butterfly right here. And it's going to give some dimension to the book. So let's use the hot glue gun. And less is more. You don't want to put so much that it's just going to ooze out. Just hold that for a second. And there you go. That's on there. How cute is that? And now I'm going to come back over here. Get this little strip of glue. And I'm going to see how well this is going to look. I left myself with plenty of edge, uh, plenty of ribbon. So we're going to try and see what we got here. Now this I'm going to bend that, get that off of there and find the end, run the ribbon through it So there's the end, and I think I'm going to pull it right up into the bow. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this down. There we go. 
Okay, so now that's going to lay there very nicely, and it's covering my uh, my transformation from one page to the other. Now I'm going to push this back, and I'm going to tie my bow. Oops. Sometimes bows can be challenging. I've been trying to do these these this way because they say it makes everything come out the way you want it. So let me get this a little smaller. Always got to work on this. I hope you had. I hope I had that in the camera. I wasn't looking. Oh, come out of there. Now, let me get it much smaller than this. Now, once I get it the way I want it, I'm going to hot glue it down. So I'm just going to take and get a little squeeze of hot glue in there and I'm going to bring everything around and hot glue it down. And there's that. Then I'm going to recut my ends. take my little lighter and just kind of wave it and you get a nice end on there a little bit more whoop a little too close that was a little longer than the other one anyway okay I don't know if you could see that but it just kind of shrinks in on itself and then it, you're not going to have any problems with it uh, fraying. So there's an idea for thinking outside the box, utilizing things that you find um, that some people think are junk. And um, it's just a little cute book. All right, well, I'm going to come back with another video. I hope you like this one. It's a short and sweet little book that I made. And uh, you have a fabulous day and I hope you can find your crafty place, your happy place, and get crafting. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.